Hey, what is up guys? Mike here from Michael Alexander Photography and welcome back to another video here on the MBP channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a back to the basics video. The reason why I'm doing this video is because we use this tool a lot and we say it a lot in videos, but I've noticed not everybody understands why we use this tool a lot. And that is we use the flow function on the brush tool. Now, a lot of people don't know the difference between flow and opacity. And I thought today in this video, I'm going to show you guys what the difference is and why we end up using flow so often when retouching in Photoshop. So to help me illustrate this, I've divided this page between opacity and flow. So I can show you what the different percentages of opacity do and what the different percentages of flow do. So we're first going to start with opacity. So I'm going to do brush strokes with the soft brush, as you guys can see here. And we're going to do just normal brush strokes at 100% opacity, 50% opacity, 25% opacity and 1% opacity. And you can't even see the 1% opacity. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with flow. So we're going to do it with 100% flow, 50% flow, 25% flow, and 1% flow. Now again, you can't really see the 1%. So what is the difference between flow and opacity? Now it's quite simple. With opacity, you're always putting in that percentage that you have chosen on the page in one stroke. So the moment you put down a stroke, it's only going to be at that percentage. So I'm going to put it on 25%. I'm going to put my pen down and I'm going to leave it there. And I'm just going to brush it down. I'm just going to brush in circles. As you can see, it's only going to be 25%. And the only time you can add more to it is by lifting the pen up. Now I'm not touching the tablet and pressing down again. So now we've added another 25%. And again, we lift the pen up and put it down again. And now another 25%. So we're on 75%. So we have to do it four times to get 100%. Now we're going to do the same, but with flow. All right, and now we're going to do the same with flow, but we're going to alternate with this button up here, which is the airbrush button. So the difference is when you push down now with the airbrush mode, even if you're not moving it, it's going to gradually build up. It's going to build up in increments of 25%. If we switch it off, when I press down and not move, it's not going to do anything. So for me to apply now more, I need to move it. And as I'm moving it, it's gradually applying that 25%. So that is why we use flow, because it gives us a lot more control. Now you've heard us say that we like control a lot in these videos. And with flow, we can gradually build up the amount of effect that we have in those areas. And we often use it in dodging and burning and skin smoothing and all those type of things. And we like it because you don't always have to lift up your hand and rework your area. You can gradually build up and shape it in real time as you're looking at it. Now let me show you an example on an actual image and what I mean when we use it in dodge and burn. Now we did do a dodge and burn video, so if you want to see how to dodge and burn, I definitely recommend checking out that video. I'm just going to illustrate the difference between flow and opacity while dodging and burning. All right, so we have our dodge and burn layers. I'm going to make this one the opacity one and then the one below that, I'm going to make the flow one. So let's start off by doing dodging and burning with just the opacity. So, like I said, we want to build up. So we're not going to do it at 100%. We normally do it at 1% because we want that very gradual build up. So I want to make her cheek pop a little bit. So I want to add more light to this area because we are busy dodging. So now for me to add more light at 1%, I have to lift my hand up every time. And that means I'm not going to get that as accurate as I would like to be because I have to lift my hand up every time I want to put down paint or unmasking this dodge and burn layer. So now, Slowly, we've added more light there. And we have to lift up our hand every time. So it's not as accurate. So we can't shape like we normally do with a brush. Like we, can, we can't work the curves of the, of the face because we have to every time lift our hands up. And it, do, it, it doesn't matter which one you use. So there we go. We've now added more light here again. Now let's show that same thing, but with flow. So 100% opacity but we're going to do it with flow and we're not going to even lift our hand up. We are just going to brush in this area. We're going to keep in that one spot and slowly add more. And look, in that short amount of time, we're already starting to see an effect and we can keep it and we can work the curves of the jawbone so we can get very accurate. We can get very nice results, very smooth results. And we don't have to lift up our hands at all. We can just keep brushing in the same way without lifting up our hand. There we go. A much nicer effect. So that's the difference between the opacity and the flow. We choose flow because it gives us more control without having to lift our hand the whole time. We don't have to readjust 
where we are putting down our brush, we can just work that area until it gradually builds up. Whereas with opacity, you have to lift up the hand and press it down, lift up the hand and press it down or click if you're using the mouse, which I hope you're not if you're doing this as a retoucher, it's way more difficult than using a tablet. And I know this was more of a boring basics video, but it's gonna make a lot more sense when you are more familiar with this tool because we use it so much in our other tutorials. So I just wanted to get this video out there to showcase to you guys what the difference was between opacity and flow and how we choose to use it and why we choose to use it. But that is all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and definitely check out some more of the MVP videos that we have available. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.